Okay, here we have a similarity problem, and frankly, this should be straightforward if you're familiar with solving similarity problems, because the information is laid out really concisely and really clearly. There's no tricks here. You just got to just carry out the correct process. So the whole thing relies on this diagram. It's the relationship between the length ratio, the area ratio, and the volume ratio. Length is always kind of like the ground level ratio. Area is a square thing and volume is a cube thing. So we have to think about how we get between each of these. And to get from length to area, we have to square centimetres to centimetres squared. It makes sense, doesn't it? And we have to cube to get from length to volume. That makes sense. We're going from centimetres to centimetres cubed. To get back down, it's the opposite of those square rooting or cube rooting. And I'm just going to put on there centimetres cubed, centimetres squared, and centimetres, just to make it really clear that it, what the numbers are. Cubing is associated with power 3, isn't it? So it makes sense to go from centimetres to centimetres cubed. We have to cube, etc. OK, we're given the volume ratio here. Let's uh, write that down. It's good to title your ratio columns. Now. A uh, useful trick is, with all of these problems is to look ahead and see which of A and B you're given extra information for. We're given extra information for B, so I'm going to stick a 1 under B. So I'll just say that again. Which one have you got extra information for? It's B's uh, area. It doesn't matter that it's area, not volume. It's just later on. We're given extra information for B, so we put a 1 under the B. And that means we're dividing both sides of the ratio by, by 960. But it's worth just checking on your calculator what 405 over 960 is, and it's 27 64 I highly recommend you use a fraction there, especially because 27 and 64 are both cube numbers. And if you write that as a decimal, you probably lose accuracy because it won't be a nice decimal. It'd be a horrible thing. So why would you write down a horrible decimal when you can write down a, a cube number divided by another cube number? because of course we're about to cube root them. So we're, we're working towards area, so we're gonna have to use the diagram and go via length by cube rooting. So cube root of 27 over 64 is just three quarters, and a cube root of one is one. Great, now let's think about the area ratio. The area ratio, we square our length ratio. So I'm squaring three over four to get nine over 16. I'm also technically squaring the 1 to get 1, but that's why we use a unitary ratio, so that squaring it keeps it, or cubing it keeps it the same. So we've got the area ratio, I'm going to put the 928 on the side uh, for B, on the right hand side, and then just need to think, I need to times this by 928, so I need to do that to the other side as well, so 916 times 928, which on the calculator is 522. And that's our final answer.